The death of a star is probably the most beautiful astronomical phenomenon ever. When a star dies, it just doesn't go with a wimp, but it creates a massive explosion that has enough energy to destroy nearby stellar objects that is called a supernova. Now, what happens if tomorrow you suddenly look at the sky and see a bright blip of light coming from the direction where Proxima Centauri was? What if Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our sun, explodes tomorrow? Would we see it? And most importantly, would we even survive? Supernovas are sometimes so bright and big that they can be seen by the naked eye from Earth. But when will we see the next supernova? And how a supernova is born? When a massive star, at least 1.44 times the mass of our Sun, runs out of fuel, it starts to cool off. This cooling causes a drop in the star's pressure. Then the star suddenly collapses inside its core. Imagine something, a million times the mass of the Earth collapsing within just 15 seconds. The collapse happens so quickly that it creates enormous shock waves that causes the outer part of the star to explode. After the event, only the star's dense core remains along with an expanding cloud of hot gas called a nebula. During 185 AD, some Chinese astronomers suddenly saw a shining object in the night sky. It remained in the sky for more than 8 months. That was the first ever recorded supernova in human history. But the most famous one is the one that occurred in 1045 AD, observed by Chinese and Arab astronomers. It was so bright that people could see it during the daytime for weeks. Today, we can still see the remnants of that explosion. It's called the Crab Nebula. Now, here comes the most important question. Can it happen again? Can we witness a supernova in our lifetime? Will scientists believe yes? If you look at our galaxy, you will find one to three supernovas occur in the Milky Way every century, which means supernovas are pretty rare. There is a star named Betelgeuse. It's a red supergiant in the Orion constellation and it's about 642 light years away from us. It's one of the brightest stars in the night sky and astronomers believe that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. In fact, in late 2019 and early 2020, it dimmed significantly, which sparked speculations that it might go supernova soon. Though it didn't explode, the dimming event helped scientists understand more about the star's behavior and internal structure. But if Betelgeuse does explode, will it harm us? Or what happens if Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun, explodes? For Betelgeuse, even though it's massive and relatively close in astronomical terms, it's still far enough, approximately 642 light years away, and the star needs to be within 50 light years to cause harm to Earth when it explodes. So, Betelgeuse explosion won't hurt life on Earth. But it would be an incredible spectacle, visible in daylight for weeks and a jewel of the night sky for months. But Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star and the closest star to our Sun and it's just around 4.24 light years away. Stars like this, red dwarfs, have a bright side. Though they're small, dim, but they live very long lives, trillions of years. Yet they can be surprisingly violent, firing intense flares that could froze nearby planets, even star systems. Also, Proxima Centauri is just 12% the mass of the Sun. It's not massive enough to go supernova. It's the kind of star that will fade away quietly into a white dwarf trillions of years from now. Actually, even our Sun doesn't have enough mass to go supernova. But there's always an exception and we're right until we're proven wrong. We have been seeing unexplainable things in our universe quite often and it's very much possible that we don't know something that can happen tomorrow. Because Proxima Centauri is 4.24 light years away, if it goes supernova due to some unexplained reason, the explosion wouldn't affect us immediately. But for this case, let's consider it would have already happened 4 years ago and the light from that explosion would just reach us tomorrow. Suddenly, in the southern sky, a new star would appear, a bright bluish-white light, glowing so intensely, it would cast shadow at night. You could see it even during the day. For weeks, it would outshine Venus. It might even rival the moon. Telescopes would capture something scientists have only even dreamed of, a front-row seat to a nearby supernova explosion. 
Earth's ozone layer might take a hit. Some high energy particles could increase mutation rates in the upper atmosphere. Satellite systems might experience disturbance, but a global extinction event would still be highly unlikely. In fact, explosion or Proxima would be more of a spectacle than a threat. But the fate of planets orbiting Proxima won't be so great. Proxima Centauri has at least two known planets, including Proxima b, which orbits in the habitable zone. For those planets, the explosion would be the end. Radiation would obliterate their atmosphere. Temperatures would skyrocket. If life ever evolved there, it would be erased in seconds. So are there signs that tell scientists a star is about to go supernova? Yes, the key is in neutrinos. These are tiny, nearly massless particles that are emitted in huge quantities during the core collapse of a massive star. In fact, neutrinos escape from the core seconds before the actual explosion is visible. In 1987, astronomers detected a burst of neutrinos from a supernova in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a nearby galaxy. That supernova, called SN1987A, confirmed that neutrinos could be early warning signals for such events. Today, we have observatories like Super Kamiokande in Japan and Ice Cube in Antarctica that are monitoring these elusive particles. If they detect a sudden burst, it could alert astronomers worldwide that a supernova is about to light up the sky. Supernovae don't just explode and vanish. They enrich the universe. All the heavy elements like iron, gold, uranium are created during these explosions. That means the atom in your blood in your phone, even in your bones were forged in the heart of a dying star. We are literally made of star stuff. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, some of those stars might already be gone, but their light is still traveling towards us. And one day, maybe soon, we'll see a new star suddenly burst into life. Not because it was born, but because it died. And what a glorious death that will be.